Hey everyone, welcome back to a new Wizard101 video. This one we're just going to be looking at all the new reagents that they've added into the game with Imperia Part 1. Because they've added a lot. And most of them, if not all of them, are required in order to craft the new Revered Weapons. Which is the next level of crafting. It's optional level, but I feel like a lot of people are going to want to be going for these because the weapons are really good. So I'm going to be going over every reagent that is required for the new weapons because some of them are difficult to get um, a lot of them are just rare because they're new reagents so a lot of people don't have them um, some of them are just rare because King's Isles intentionally made them rare so that crafting this weapon is a difficult task but it's worth it I feel like this is a weapon that I'll actually use in my storm so I'm gonna craft it first on my storm but we're gonna go over every little new reagent on here as well as I guess the other I mean there's not really anything else like Tempest TC is easy, that you just buy, and then of course you need to craft the legendary weapon in order to get the revered weapon. So those are the only other things that you need for this. The rest are new reagents. Let's go ahead and get started with the easier reagents first. Uh, probably the ones over here. Shock keys, these you get from the silver chests. And uh, silver chests you can find anywhere in the whole game. And uh, for me, I went to Mirage, because in Mirage, near the Chrono Verge, I can actually just go over there quick. But uh, in Mirage, they have a lot of silver chests just everywhere. Even in Caravan, they have uh, a lot of silver chests. But I'll, I'll show you guys the spot that I went to collect a lot of them. Actually, just going to Mirage right here, there's sometimes a silver chest on the side here. You can find one. Um, there's also silver chests just in Imperia, too. I mean, you can find some in Athenor, Outer Athenor. That's where I was farming a lot, and I found some silver chests there. Um, so... I'm just going to show you guys kind of the rotation that I did for finding silver chests to make it easy if you want to use the same one. Or if you find them other places that you know there's a lot of them, just go ahead and do that. You're going to have to do a lot of silver chests in order to get 10 shock keys because shock keys are not a 100% drop at all. They're probably lower, probably around 10-15% drop I feel like because um, I never really got that many. <laughs> one time I went on a streak of like 10-20 to 20 silver chests of not getting a shock key. So one can spawn here, and then you go inside the Chrono Verge itself, and then there's usually some silver chests in here. Uh, see this one there, and then sometimes they spawn over here, and uh, then you just keep doing that rotation. You just switch realms, and you find a lot. So silver chests, you have to do that, and you have to do a lot of them in order to get a shot key. It's a rare drop, so you're going to have to just continue to find silver chests and pray that you get it until you get 10. That one isn't as bad as some of the other ones, but it still will take you probably an hour or two to get all 10. Uh, shining Scales, these ones are just found in fishing chests. And the fishing chests can be anywhere. I went to Elephant Graveyard in Zafaria because I knew that there were fishing chests there that I've gotten before, so I knew how to do it, so I just did that. Um, I got Shining Scales almost every chest I, I got a Shining Scale, so they're not that hard. You only need three. So this is one of the easier ones of, of this recipe. So new reagent, but shouldn't be that difficult. Just go somewhere that you know you can get some uh, chests from fishing and you'll probably get it pretty quickly if you have energy. So not too bad on that one. Uh, participation trophies. These ones are arena ticket only. However, you can also get them. I've heard from people saying you can get them from the daily assignment chests. So that is an option if you don't want to do the 800 tickets for each trophy. Keep in mind that uh, to buy these, you have to go to the guy in the pet pavilion. So I guess I'll just show that quickly in case people don't know. But that's the only place that you can buy these um, unless you get it from the daily assignment chest. That's when you complete like five days worth of daily assignments, I think. You can get that. So that's participation trophies. If you want to get five, which I did, I had enough arena tickets on my storm. I had like almost 7,000, so I just bought five for 800 each. And that's uh, 4,000 arena tickets. So if you have 4,000 arena tickets, just go ahead and buy them. If you don't, you're going to have to either do tournaments for it or you're going to have to do daily assignments to hopefully get lucky from the daily assignment chest. So here is the guy over here that you buy these from. And it's kind of glitched right now. They didn't change it from Test Realm. He gives two options. It's the first one. And then it still says gold. I wish they would change that, but that's how you buy it. You just yeah, click buy. Uh, I don't know if buy more works anymore, but I, it didn't work in test time. I, I doubt it would work now, but yeah. Participation trophy, new reagent that you can get from uh, this guy in Pet Pavilion. The other one that we've got, uh, we only have two left. 
But these are the most difficult ones that you're going to be spending a lot of time getting. Either or is the main drop in Imperia. I have a port to Outer Athenor, which is where I farmed most of these from. And this one is going to take you hours to do. There's no way around it unless you get super lucky, which I kind of doubt is going to happen. But this one, you just need to run around different areas of Imperia and hope that you can find some of the the drops just randomly like for the uh aether ore or the aether dust see this one here this is what it looks like aether burst is what it's called and when you collect this you have a chance to get dust and you have a rare chance to get the ore the ore is what you want are you serious okay that's actually really rare guys <laughs> this is actually hilarious that on camera i get aether ore or aether ore Okay, you will not, I repeat, you will not get ether ore every harvest from this. I just got extremely lucky right there. I bet if I got another one, it would not be ore. Because getting ore, I feel like you get ore like 5-10% to 10 of the time when you grab those. The ether burst. It's very rare. I usually just run around here, look for some. There's usually some vents around this place, but I don't really see any. And then what I do is I just switch to a different realm. And then continue looking for it. I farmed in Outer Athenor. You can farm. I've heard people farming in the jungle. You can also get it in the aerial shore. There's just a place that you can get it. A few places in there. But it just depends where you want to run around a lot for hours in order to find these. Because in order to get all of them. Let's check down here if there's one. People might have already got it. Yeah. See this area. This realm is basically cleared out. Because people probably already grabbed them. But. In order to get 25 ether ore, you need to collect or get lucky a ton of ether dust because you have to transmute it. I have 26 out of 25. Probably less than half of these I got. Uh, probably not. Actually, I would say about half of these I got from random drops of just getting ether ore from the burst. The other ones I had to transmute, which you can get the transmute recipe from the Imperia crafting guy and you need 15 dust to transmute into one ore so getting an ore from the actual drop is lucky but it helps like tremendously because it gets you way closer to getting 25 for me i need to get 50 because i want to craft this twice i want to do one on my storm and then the other one on my life so i can get the sword for both but this one you'll spend a few hours getting all that uh, this is the best place that i found to farm for it so there you go. Uh, flying Squid Ink. I only have 8 of 45. This is my last one that I'm going to be going for to craft this thing. And once I get it, I will make a video crafting it. Flying Squid Ink is dropped from bosses all over Imperia. And I found a good spot for it in the jungle. There's a few bosses in there. I think all the bosses, at least, well, at least most of them in the aerial jungle, probably drop the Flying Squid Ink. And just by questing naturally through... Imperial, you'll probably get a few of the squid ink. But to get 45 of it, you are going to have to farm it. There's no way you're going to get 45 just from questing. So you're going to have to farm it. I've been farming bosses in the aerial jungle to try to get it. And I've done it for about an hour. And I only have 8 out of uh, 45. So it's a lot. You are going to have to farm this for a long time. I know someone that's farmed it like 6 hours, I think. And he's gotten 30 something out of 45. So it's going to take a long time. It's just one. It's probably the most difficult reagent to get out of all of these. And a lot of people are going to be farming this in order to... Uh, it's probably going to be everyone's last reagent that they get in order to craft this weapon. So Flying Squid Ink, extremely rare. You can sell it in the bazaar, but I don't know why people would sell it in the bazaar. Maybe you can get lucky. I kind of doubt it. I feel like you'd be more... Uh, you'd, I don't know. You'd be more inclined to get it if you just went out and farmed it yourself rather than try to farm the bazaar for it. But... That is basically it. That's all of the new reagents that they've added into the game. And some of them are a struggle. They're a struggle in the beginning because that's how it always is when a new world comes out. They put in these new reagents and they're very rare to get because a lot of people are going for them. There's not that many in the game total at this point because people haven't farmed for them. But I would say hardest is going to be Flying Squid Ink. Second hardest is going to be the Aether Ore. Because these two are guaranteed to take you hours each to do. This one even longer. Even even more hours. 
Uh, these two will take you, this one will probably take you an hour or two. This one shouldn't take you that long, like honestly, hour max. And then participation trophies, that one's up to you if you have arena tickets or not. Either you do or you don't. Or you have some that you can spend it on and you'll have to do another tournament to get it. Or get lucky from the daily assignment chest. So That is basically all the new reagents. So hope this was helpful for you guys. I just wanted to put a video together letting you guys know my struggle on getting these. But once I get the flying squid ink, I will make a video crafting this thing. And I think it's worth it. It's a lot of work to get this, but I feel like it's worth it because the damage is good. The crit is up there. Uh, he's, he's even got the pierce too. The pierce will help. So definitely something that's going to be worth my time. And also two square sockets. So could it be a little better? I don't know. I Maybe it could. But I just hope that this weapon is going to be good for a long time. Because if it's this much work in order to craft it, I hope it's good. Or they do the next crafting where it's required to have the revered sword in order to craft the next one. That'd be cool if they did like a cycle of that. And then it makes it even better. I don't know. I would craft it though. It's going to take some time. It's going to take uh, a lot of effort and a lot of just brainlessly running around areas to collect or brainlessly farming enemies. That's what they wanted for this and that's what they got. So that is it. Hope it was helpful for you guys to uh, know where to look for all those reagents if you're struggling with some of them. Uh, it's a struggle overall in order to craft this thing. It's supposed to be. So you know, don't get discouraged if you are taking a long time to get one of the reagents because trust me, to collect all the ether ore, it took me probably two to three hours. So it takes a long time for each of these. But that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, if it was helpful for you. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you all next time.